a tree worth a million dollars? Possibly. That would be the Aspiros ebenum, known as the black ebony tree. The inside of this hardwood tree that grows in Southeast Asia and parts of Africa is a dark black, the color being due to a mixture of numerous compounds, mostly in the polyphenol family. Ebony wood, prized for its ability to take a shine, can be carved into items such as figurines, black piano keys, and black chess pieces. Because of the high price of ebony, woodworkers have turned to chemistry to alter the appearance of cheaper woods with the aim of producing an ebony-like black color. The chemistry involved here is familiar to those of us who perform chemistry magic shows. A trick that I have often performed is the conversion of water into white wine, then changing this into red wine, and finally converting it back into white wine. This is done by placing a small amount of tannic acid, a polyphenol that can be extracted from wood, into the bottom of a glass. When water is poured into the glass, the polyphenol quickly dissolves and produces a yellowish color that passes for white wine. This is the same phenomenon we see when brewing tea. The yellow tannic acid and other polyphenols are extracted from tea leaves by hot water. Now back to the magic. The white wine is poured into a glass that has a tiny amount of ferric chloride at the bottom. This combines with tannic acid to form a dark reddish iron tannic acid complex. When this red wine is then poured into a glass that has a few drops of hydrochloric acid in it, the iron tannic acid complex is destroyed and the solution reverts to the yellow color of tannic acid. A similar reaction occurs when acidic lemon juice is added to tea. The magical chemistry that changes white wine into red wine is the chemistry used by woodworkers to ebonize wood. This requires treating wood with a solution of an iron compound so that the natural tannins in the wood react with iron ions to form a dark pigment that permeates the wood. One way to do this is to immerse steel wool in vinegar, which is a 5% solution of acetic acid. The ferric acetate that forms is soluble and can be applied to wood to produce a dark color. The reaction between tannins and iron can also occur in nature. In the Florida Everglades, for example, tannins dissolve in water from overhanging trees. This can change the skin color of alligators. These reptiles cr crawl over soil that contains iron oxide that can coat their skin. Swimming in water with dissolved tannins will then darken their skin. That's the theory anyway. It would be interesting to see what happens if tea were poured on an alligator basking on clay that is red due to iron oxide. Not an experiment I would care to try. That for today is our Cup of Joe.